dear granddad. Really? Mm. Thank you. Uh, because 1980s hot hatchbacks were so easy to steal, they were mostly used for doing handbrake turns on housing estates and ram raiding Woolworths. So, to see which one of your ridiculous, ca cars. ridiculous cars is best, you will now have a game of supermarket sweep. The rules were simple. The producers had laid out a course around the aisles of a supermarket and we had to see which of our cars could get round it the fastest. Right, James, you're going first. Just so you know, mm. there is a second added to your time for every pound of damage that you do out there. Right. OK? OK. Firing this is going up. to be like living in the 1980s. Three, two, one. Go! Obviously, I am the intelligent one here, and the point of this is to not hit anything, not to go round quickly. It's neat, isn't it? A second is more easily saved by not breaking something than by driving into things. Through the chicane. Missing that, missing that, missing everything. Oh, his wheel got jammed up with his wheel spam. Got... His spam. Briskly around there. And through to the finish. <sighs> How did I do? One minute or two, but you did hit things, James. After the value of the smashed custard creams and the splattered spam had been totted up, I took my place on the start line. Good. Yes! Three, two, one, go! That's a vigorous start. Here we go! And into the turn! It's a bad crash! Oh, no! That's a couple of seconds off there. Yeah, I'd say so. Things have gone literally everywhere. I've hit the luxury toilet system! And some bread! Yes, I just hit some... Oh! Oh, no! I've got mixed-team biscuits literally everywhere. Oh, God above. Well, it is a quick time now, but it possibly won't be once you've added on the destruction. <laughs> I've gone again. In the plums. He's on the finishing straight. And across the line! It took a very long time to work out Jeremy's score, but eventually it was my go. Let's do this. What do you think he's going to do? Your style or my style? Well, if he's got any sense, he'll do mine, let's be honest. But he hasn't got any sense because he's hammered, so... <laughs> go! Come on, little Nova, here we go. Here. Oh, that's... <laughs> Gee, that was enormous. <laughs> What manner of thing did he do? Run away! Here he comes. Oh. And across the line! As dawn broke, the peace and serenity of this beautiful Ugandan morning was shattered by the bellow of a wild animal. Clarkson! Jesus! Clarkson! What? Funny. Very funny. Yes. I don't like heights. I don't like camping. I don't like snoring. Clarkson! Funny! 
You're funny man. We were even funny at getting him back in. No, I think it's the red one. Is it the red one? I don't know. Uh, right, so hang on, I've got one with like a circle. This one it's looks this, like an onion. This one? That, that bottom one swivels. No, the bottom. Oh, it's, it's got oh, a bit of a wave it. on now. <laughs> 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 James, you've fallen out of your tent! Oh, you've fallen out! He's fallen in! Help! That's an alarm clock, isn't it? Oh, sorry, James. The, the bottom of this river's made out of turds. I yes. know! Yeah. So you're driving the hearse. I'm driving this limousine. Clarkson! <laughs> Clarkson! I know it's you, you insufferable oaf. I'm on the bloody throne. <laughs> you muppet. What's that? Um. And um, what? I never knew. Namibia had two C's. It doesn't have two C's. No, it has one massive C in it, one massive stupid C that's navigated us back to where we started. Can I just well, say... My, I yes, didn't... why did we even believe you could navigate no, us? Well, you that, can't honestly, even read a compass. There are two C's, there's two C's here for believing that that C could navigate No, us. you're right. I couldn't possibly... Well, it's really... I don't understand that. Freezing cold, sandpapered on You've the face. You've got a coat on. It's thin, have you felt it? No, I haven't even got a thin coat. I've only got a T-shirt. Anyway, I'm not going to get competitive with you about who's the coldest. I'm the We're coldest. We're all the lostest. Never mind. Look, let's not get bogged down with whose fault it was. There's no being bogged down with it, is there? It was yours. This has a quiet start facility on it, but I don't know how it works. Typical Aston, you see. It's broken down. Anyway, look, you haven't got long to get it going because I'm going to be down again in a second, changed and ready to roll. <laughs> no. No. Clarkson, you're pulling me into the sea. Clarkson! Stop! Stop! Well, why are you there? You've pulled me in the sea, you muppet! It's a very thoughtful place to break down this. Why is that? Well, because look, there's a little path that you, Hammond and I can go yeah, round. So off you go. Leave it. Don't touch it. Leave it. To help. I to Don't go try around. and help. Go away. Everybody's getting a bit bad tempered. Might be because it's so hot. Could be that. He's not very keen on us helping, is he? Sorry. That's, I, will I didn't punch see the bumper because I have my head right next to the thing. Go on. Go. We'll all be fine. If we spot a Jaguar, everything will be OK. Right. Go. Hammond, can you swing it round? Do we swing it? Yeah, swing it. Try and get it. Oh, shit! Who pulled that? We've got to save the car. It's a reef. Save it. I haven't got it. It's gone. Who pulled the... That's to release it, you muppet. I thought it was a guide rope. I thought no, you... I steer it. You just release it when he's on there. No, he told me to steer it with that rope. He said pull the rope to this steer it. This is a four hundred thousand pound crane. Why would you steer it with a piece of string? It's got all these knobs and buttons. I steer it. You release it. So water is just no, water. Don't do. Oh God. What do you? I don't particularly want to see you. Just to be absolutely clear. Why? Well, I got here at four a.m. Wet, with consumption, smelling like a damp dog, tried to sleep in the car, and what did I hear? No idea. Snoring. Your car snoring. That bloody generator thing, it's like someone's snoring but without the pauses in the breath. The generator is necessary to keep my fish fresh. Where's your water gone? On my head. Anyway, we've got to make more water. This is water. I was just about to explain that that is normal water, which we're all familiar with. You drink it. Sea water is salty. We all know that as well. I know. I've brought you some salt. It's not that sort of salt. That doesn't it is. work. No, it isn't. That's it's salt. salt. Exactly. 
Sea salt has extra minerals in that that doesn't, that's been refined. This is sea salt. So we have to work out, I'll show you, normal water, needle at the bottom. Okay, we have to mix enough salt to put the needle on there, right at the top of the scale. Yeah. Okay? And I know that's 25 litres. Well, hold on, no, but if you're doing 25 salt. litres at a time... I'm doing 25 litres to work out how much salt to put in. We're going to be here all morning. No, we're not. We are, because What's... you've got to fill your entire tank So up. what do you think I should do? Why are you so angry with me? I've come to help. You haven't come to help. I, I could have it. almost done it by now. I you were just standing there being fatuous and bringing a thing of salt from a seaside cafe from the 1950s in Morecambe. Bugger off. Please. Good, get on with it. Go away. This made James very unpleased. You bastards! I hate you! Both of you! You utter bastards! Listen! I am prepared to tow your boot full of water, that's important. I'm not going to tow a dead engine that's full of water as well, that's just a waste of fuel. Rubbish, it wasn't dead, I could have mended that once we dragged it out. It's just ignition, I've done it five times already. You complete moron. I hope you get Bill Hart's here of the ball sack. Right, that's it, he's asked for it. Funny, so funny. I think you're following him too closely. Why don't you sod off? Has it affected the handling? What was that? Drum roll, please! <laughs> he just clipped it on the way back. It was... Oh, oh, mate, oh, so close, you just, I know, you must have, did you feel a... It never moved an inch. No, well, it doesn't. doesn't You've smashed my drum kit up. It doesn't it's feel like You've smashed moving. my no, drum kit up. Then, they, you know, they, 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 they,